The Sounders come out with a 1-0 gutty win. I'm Oz Vidamara here. Here's John Marshall for Radio Cascadia. John, 1-0, as I said at the opening. What do you take away from this? You know, it was a grinded out, uh, hard fought type of win for the Sounders. Uh, the one goal comes from Albert Rusnak, a pretty great goal uh, scored for uh, later in the game. But the defense comes out and plays a really great shutdown uh, defensive play for the full 90 minutes. Keeps a clean sheet, making that five straight clean sheets at home. That's a club record. All right, so here we're going to go from Jackson Reagan. He's going to talk about keeping the clean sheets at home. Yeah. <laughs> I think I should do an open. So one of the highlights of my evening uh, and I can say this, I'll, 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 I'll give you a little insight into the locker room prior to the game. You know, I didn't know how the team was going to react after the, you know, debacle in Portland. And I didn't know if the players were going to put too much pressure on themselves. Didn't know if, you know, they would react, you know, with their brains as much. I knew their hearts were in it. I knew they were going to come out and give me energy and all that. But sometimes the coaches get nervous. Sometimes you want to lighten the mood. And uh, when Nuhu, you know, came up with the migraines and it's, you know, Kellen stepped in, yeah, it's a little bit of drama, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of, you know, okay. And so to lighten the mood and to kind of give Kellen Rowe a shout out, I said, well, look, okay, Nuhu does this, but Kellen could do this with his right foot. He can play Leo in behind. And using Kellen's speed is going to be important in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I don't know if the guys really truly appreciated the joke. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Until after the game, when, you know, and I want to go on, on record, uh, Kellen Rowe has 350 appearances in MLS play. All comps. All comps. All comps. I mean, that is a tremendous career for a guy from Federal Way. I couldn't be prouder of him coming back home and, you know, doing exactly what we need at the right time. Uh, I think that's a really success story. And I couldn't be prouder of the kid, the young man, the man the old guy, you know, the experienced guy, sorry, Kellen, the experienced man, uh, congrats to him. And then the other thing, and I'm sure someone like Jeremiah is going to ask me this, but five shutouts at home is a club record, five consecutive. And I'm very proud of that because we had discussed that, we had messaged it, publicly, internally about, you know, making sure that Lumen Field is a place where teams cannot steal points off of us. And, you know, so far so good. Five shutouts at home. Uh, I'm very impressed with that. Uh, that doesn't just mean Steph, but that means, you know, you know, Hebert, Raul, Freddy, you know, Jordan came on, good energy. Dylan Tevis had a good game when he came on, you know being aggressive, pressing higher up the field. You know, JP, obviously, uh, Jackson, Yaimar. It was, a, it was a good defensive effort tonight. But we always talk about on throw-ins deep in our attacking half of the field to throw the ball into the penalty box because good things can happen. If there's a foul, it's a penalty. If you are able to establish possession, the defenders have to kind of lay off because they don't want to give up a penalty, so the attacker actually has maybe a little bit of an advantage. And in this case, you know, Freddie or the defender or whatever it was, you know, under pressure, I thought, I thought it was a veteran savvy move that Freddie does all the time. He's a very smart soccer player. And another clean sheet, so definitely happy. What was the plan exactly? Um, I mean, just get the goal and then once we do, I mean, kill him with possession, I'd say. I think the last 15 minutes was great. After what happened last week in Portland, how important was it for you guys to come out and get a, a W this week? Uh, very big. Um, I think especially after last year, you know, we lost 3-0 at home and then after that, um, I mean, momentum for the rest of the year was not great. So I think 
I mean, very important to bounce back this year because I mean, I was definitely thinking about that um, repeating again this year. Do you get more satisfaction in the, fr in the fact that it was a 1 0 blinded out win? Yeah, for me, I mean, clean sheet is super important, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. What's the deal? You guys don't let anybody score at home. What's going on with that? Sorry, you you haven't allowed a goal at. It. I mean, just, I mean, we're trying to make it a fortress, you know? Um, clean sheets, super important. Like, when teams come here, we suffocate them, um, make, it, make it hard to play against us. Uh, yeah. How were you guys able to, to nullify the counterattack? Because that, that coming in, that was something that they did well and also crosses in the middle. Was it just more communication from the back and being decisive in some of the tackles y'all had? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, they did a good job in the first half, um, but we figured it out at halftime. Um, just being tighter uh, and active defending. Um, and yeah, I think I, I got beat once in the first half, but it's because I wasn't tight enough and fixed it in the second half. All right. So there you had it. You had some video from Jackson Reagan. You got a little bit from Brian Smetzer there, just, just talking about the win. And uh, to John, you're absolutely right, just in terms of, you know, the clean sheets, also the, uh, the the goal by Albert Rusnik. But I would also say Freddie Montero made the difference. We saw the return of Jordan Morris. And uh, so they win. What's next? They... Uh, next up is preparing for Real Salt Lake next week. Right. Uh, I got to do right at you. I know. I just do right at toes. you. But, yeah, no, I know. I mean, it's, 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 it's just conversationally talking here just in terms of what outside of the defense, yeah. outside of the roof's neck, what is it that you liked about this? Yeah, well, I, I like the, the, the mentality of this team to come off of a really tough loss in Portland to then come out, come back home, get the job done, do the dirty work, and grind out a win. Um, I like the, that, you know, you don't see that head dropping. There's no uh, sag off. There's no let down the week after of a, a big loss. In fact, it's the exact opposite. They come out and play hard. Uh, struggle at times, I would say, with uh, Minnesota played really well on the counter attack. Uh, they didn't concede a lot of possession, uh, the Sounders, but when they did, Minnesota kept them on their toes. Um, Especially in the first half, Especially. Minnesota stacked up in the middle, so made it difficult for the Sounders to be able to, uh, you know, to get anything, that, any penetration in the final third. They were able to get outside Leo Chu just in terms of in the first half down here, but the frustration was Abe had to play this role where he had to come for the pass, and that's where you saw the substitutions, and you know, to give bring in Morris and again Montero and. We're not going to show this, but the one thing that um, Smetzer talked about was, you know, we have three forwards, they're very smart, and their ability to, you know, to improvise and be creative. And that was the key with Freddie Montero. I thought Smetzer did a brilliant move in terms of saying, you know what, when Abre was in there, we had nobody in the box. So when they put, when he put Montero in, they opened up a little bit, the defenders had to come in, and it was wide. So I think that was a really good move. And in terms of what you're saying in Real Salt Lake, um, yeah, I mean, that's going to be another grinded out game. So last last words, what do you say? Uh, I think it's a great turnaround for um, this club after last week's disappointment. Um, they show that they're still one of the best teams in this league and still a force to be reckoned with. Even when they are, you know, don't have their ideal 11 out there, uh, you see guys like Kellen Rowe getting the start last minute before his 350th appearance uh, in all competitions. Uh, you know, big, performances all around from uh, a lot of backup or role players on this team uh, that aren't normally asked to play uh, the type of roles they had to tonight. And I don't know really what your starting 11 is anymore just because the rotation that's happened. So yeah. you probably have a starting 15, which is exactly what you want. Yeah. You know, if you're going to go through this gauntlet of a MLS season and then you've got like on Wednesday, you know, they, they have the U.S. Open Cup. So you really need probably a good 15, 17 on your roster. And that's what the Sounders have right now. So for post game on the pitch for the Cascadia Sports.net, for John Marshall of Radio Cascadia, I'm Mas, Mas Vito Marir for Cascadia Sports.net.